Ladies and gentlemen, today is the beginning of the end. I just recently made this video about acceptance rate and my thoughts that raising your acceptance rate doesn't give you a raise on Walmart Spark. As a Spark driver, you just gotta pick the best orders that are out there and that's mainly determined by your market. I got some comments back there saying that when people got to higher acceptance rate, they only saw good orders. Also in my video I mentioned, what's the smartest way to raise your acceptance rate? It's essentially to shop these overnight orders and these early morning orders. And so this is the time of day when there's the most orders available for Walmart spark drivers so I came here this morning and I'm gonna come here for the next couple weeks only in the morning only when there's a high volume of orders I see as I raise my acceptance rate do I get better orders this morning the first order that I was able to get it was not worth taking so I really wanted to take a hundred percent acceptance rate but I had to start with the decline I couldn't take this order it was $14 for one mile so I thought maybe I could look at it maybe it's worth taking that was not the case when I looked at the order it was $14, no tip. No tip is basically on the disrespectful side of the spectrum. And then when I screen the order, cause you gotta screen the orders. 10 cases of water, decline, I can't take that. One case of water, maybe two cases would have been pushing it. 10 cases, never in your life. So the order that I did take wasn't much better. $15 for two or three miles. They had a $1 tip on there. And I don't know what's more disrespectful, no tip or a $1 tip. Just like saying, I heard about this no tip, no trip, so I'm gonna tip you $1. Maybe they're a tipper and they're gonna raise it if I do a good job. Stop the cap. So right now I'm at 50% acceptance rate. I declined one and brought it back with one. Hopefully I'll get offered orders worth taking going forward and take 100% of these and then we'll see as my acceptance rate updates and gets higher and higher am I getting better orders we'll see what happens when I get to 50% 60% etc right now I'm at like 44 we're gonna try to get all the way up to the 80s and maybe even to the 90s and see if we see better offers as we raise our acceptance rate by shopping only in the morning to not have to take a bunch of crap orders in order to raise my acceptance rate we'll see what happens if you want to see more content like this, be sure to like. And if you want to make sure you stay tuned to what's going on with this series, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, y'all, so uh, I got the order shopped up, packed in the bag. When I was in there, I don't know if y'all forgot this before, these cart checks where they basically come to you, they have to scan three random items. It was a small order, so I didn't notice it even had that until after I'd already bagged everything up. So the dude comes over here, let me take a step back, takes his sweet time coming over there. This is a little scan, he's like, oh, I got a little cart check. Then opens up my bag, rifles through everything to find these three random items and puts everything back in the bag, it's all jacked up. And I'm just one of those people that puts things in a way, a certain way, likes to bag my items. I take pride in my work, and you can tell he does it. You can say it got on my nerve just a little bit. All right, y'all, so I'm back at the Walmart parking lot trying to get some more orders. It's the round robin time, and now I'm getting an offer here. Let's see what he got. Okay, shopping delivered, $21, of five miles. The house, not an apartment. $4 tips, small order. 15 items, no water. Not a bad order. I'm here to take orders. Another technique that I use to help me get good offers more consistently after I start the delivery, I turn off Spark Now. When I finish that order I'm delivering, I drive back to the store, turn on Spark Now, so that after I deliver the order, I'm not getting offered another offer immediately. This is good because the further you're away from the store, if it's a busy market, they're gonna offer you bad orders because you're not close to the store. So that's one little trick that I use that I recommend others use. Alright y'all, so and it looks like the day is over as far as Spark goes. I uh, came back for the next half hour, it's about 9.24 now, and got no offers whatsoever, no round robin offers until about 9.21, at which time I got this offer here, curbside pickup, $13, six and a half miles. I couldn't see myself taking it, knowing that how slow it was, and that six and a half miles going in the opposite direction I wanted to go in. So after all that, I decided to decline that order, decided to turn out Spark now for the day. Two, out of four for the morning. This is a very poor morning, to be honest. This Sunday mornings are hit and miss in my market. Monday morning, tomorrow, I expect to see better. So two out of four, I accepted 50%, so I should go up. We'll see how it works out tomorrow. We'll see what works out when we get to past 50% and uh, what the numbers look like. One eternity later. So maybe I was wrong. Yesterday, I took all these spark orders. When I say all these, I mean two. Yesterday, I set on, on a goal to find out if raising my acceptance rate would have an impact 
impact on the orders that I got. In the video I mentioned previously, I said that Spark works just like all the other apps and that it's not just raising you 2% for every order you accept and lowering you 2% for every order you decline. Nonetheless, yesterday I started out at a 44% acceptance rate. I accepted two orders, I declined two orders. That's 50%. 50% is slightly above 44%. I expected my acceptance rate to increase. When I logged on this morning, I saw that I had the exact same acceptance rate that I had yesterday. One of two things that means. Number one, that's just what it ended up at based on these four orders I took now and the four orders I took 50 orders ago. Everything is completely fine and that's the correct calculation. <laughs> now, explanation number two, which I think most of you will find more interesting, is that I was wrong. They are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. I should have believed Spark when they told me who they were, because that would explain what my current acceptance rate is now, currently being at 44%. I accepted two, you know, from 44 to 46 to 48, and then for the two I declined, it went back to 46 to 44, leaving me exactly where I am today. So we're gonna do some more testing of that today. I'm already at the Walmart again, 7 a.m. Right now I got this $28, two and a half mile, 30 item shop I'm about to do here. The customer tips, that's a great start. Yesterday I've seen a lot of $1 and $0 tips. We're gonna hopefully get three or four orders in a row today, be able to accept all of them straight through and get to that 50% or above acceptance rate and then see tomorrow how are my orders looking? Do I get any benefit? So uh, I got that first order off, one for one, and now I got my second order, not as good as the first one, about $16, three and a half miles, 15 items, easy shop. I could probably get this done and still maybe potentially even pick up another ASAP order this hour before I forget. I got these little things the other day off of Amazon. Um, they're basically, you, you put the bag handles here on the air so you can carry multiple bags with one hand without having to jack up all your fingers. I'm gonna try these out today, see how they work, see if I would recommend them or not. They look like they're pretty durable as far as the, the plastic they use. So it should be able to hold a good 50, 60, 70 pounds. And then yeah, I have this grip feel so I'm actually holding 50 pounds like this. I'm sure it's better than strangling all my fingers with plastic bag handles. Back at the Walmart parking lot, it's about uh, 8.58, 8.59, and I decided not to turn it on yet, not to turn back on my Spark now, because at the end of the hour, I'm just gonna get all the crap orders from the previous hour offered to me as new round robins with timers on them, and it's gonna be the, the low dollar amount, high mileage orders that nobody wanted. Those just need to go to ASAP and get the fuck away from me. On the other side of the coin, if I wait another about five minutes, so about 8.03, 8.04, 8.05, I should start being eligible to get the round robins for the current hour. So I should get some of those offered to me, better orders for this hour, maybe not the 100% acceptance rate orders, if those are even different, but they'll be better than the bottom of the barrel orders from the previous hours. Give me a moment, I'll be back with an order. 20 minutes later. All right, y'all, so it looks like not. I didn't get that third one. I really wanted to get to that 50% acceptance rate. Uh, so this half hour, no round robins. I was here from like 05 until whatever time, no round robins. It is what it is. 